So one thing most people don't know, and I definitely didn't realize when I started my journey with manifestation, conscious creating, is the idea that you have to wait on divine timing. What is divine timing anyways? Have you heard about that? Somebody talking about it, whether it's a YouTube video or a coach or even somebody doing tarot card readings and saying, well, hopefully you'll get what you want in divine timing. It's all going to come to you in divine timing. And when is divine timing? What is divine timing? There's honestly no divine timing. Because if somebody's telling you that you have to wait a month, two months, three weeks, 10 years, whatever it is, and you believe that, you're going to be giving off waiting energy. It's just going to build and build. Oh, I'm waiting for that. And then when it doesn't happen in that three weeks or four weeks, whatever that time frame is, then you're going to feel even worse because you're going to say, well, what happened? I don't understand. And it's going to give you more of the wanting energy. It's going to lead to waiting, to wanting, and to being in that energy that you're giving off that vibration, that feeling of wanting and waiting, and you're not a match to what it is that you want because you're in that energy of wanting and waiting. And really, it's giving away your power that you have to create in this moment right now, because essentially all we have is this moment right now, this this time that we have, and taking that to your advantage and becoming that now. So when you make that decision, whatever it is that you desire, and you're embodying that energy, you're becoming a vibrational match to whatever it is, whether it's a person or a job or a million dollars, a sum of money, a friendship, even the way that people treat you and perceive you, you are just aligning to that reality, that vibration, making that leap to where that is the energetic norm, to that where that is your match that you have. I talk, he wanted to be in the video so bad, now he's taking a nap, that's good leave him be here. <laughs> then you become an energetic match to that, whatever it is. And honestly, with the divine timing, I don't believe there's any timing that you have to wait. You're just getting used to that being your norm that you have, that you sit up here then if you want to be in the video. <laughs> sit up here. That you're just getting used to that being your, your normal vibration that you give off, whether you have to have a script that you read and you're embodying it like a character in a movie and that you have to wear a costume so you're embodying that that appearance or that you're getting used to this this new norm kind of like if you lost 100 pounds and you went to the store to buy new clothes you wouldn't go to the same store you go to a different store you'd buy different sizes you're getting used to that being your norm it may be odd at first because you're so used to going to this other store but you're just making this your normal normal vibration that you have the norm a lot of times when people especially manifesting a specific person having that sp that person that's way out there that's way above me when you realize they're just a person, you're a person, and you deserve the best and you attract the best, and it's not a big deal, and you look at it the same way you would attracting a cup of coffee, you're like, mm, you're the same as attracting a cup of coffee. When you take that energy back to know, why wouldn't I get an amazing partner? Why wouldn't I get it? I'm amazing myself. I, I'm magnetic and I draw in the best people and that becomes your norm. That's when shows up. That's when things show up. So myself in the past getting caught up in wanting that divine timing because the tarot card reader on YouTube told me that I had to wait on divine timing and I may not get it because some people don't get it. And I just honestly felt powerless. Whether I believed what she was saying or not, it was like it was planting these these subconscious seeds into my mind thinking that, that that's the way that things had to unfold. And when I realized I could take my power back, I can create what I want and just align to that frequency, that vibration, that energetic field that you have, that you become magnetic to that opportunity. So don't worry about timing. And honestly, when people are asking the most about timing is generally when they're in the most wanting energy. And what do you get with that wanting energy? desperate energy desperate that repellent energy where it's not good it's not what you want nobody wants that you don't want some desperate person to hang on to you and latch on you want to become a vibrational match to what it is you desire then it all shows up then you don't have to worry about it anymore so i hope that this helped and uh gave you a different perspective like i say in my other videos I'm not a coach. I'm just a person here that is learning and growing on YouTube, sharing information where I'm like, hey, this helped me. Try it out. See what you think. But I do my my one-on-ones with people really good at looking at um, people's subconscious uh, beliefs that they have or giving a different perspective to your situation. It's where I, where I thrive, what I enjoy. And I love connecting with people here on YouTube. I just want to see you become you and the best version because you never know what you're going to create when you bring out the best in other people. 
as well. And I want you to live your best life. I can live in my best life with my dog. He wants to go on another walk. We just went on a walk. Yeah. So hopefully this info helps you and take back your power and know you got this. Whatever it is you desire, you're just getting used to it. It's becoming your new norm right now. You're not waiting on anything. You already have it. You woke up this morning. You just forgot. You have. You already have exactly what it is that you want. You're just getting used to that, making that your norm. So my intention is you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.